Hey Slutly and Blue, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I am doing this look with the Carla Cosmetics Sleepy Head Palette. So if you'd like to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. I am doing a halo eye with some new to me Carlo Cosmetics goodies that I'm so excited to play with. So my lid is primed with Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas and Fair and I'm going to take the Sleepy Head Quad from Carlo Cosmetics and it is so beautiful and Sleepy Head is one of my favorite of their loose multi-chromes and I was so excited to see that it is pressed in this cute little quad here. And I took one shade from the Bella Beauté Bar and LA Star and Brittany Huffman Best Mattes Palette because I wanted to add a little bit of a darker blue to blend this out. So I have taken this blue from the palette. It's a lot easier for me to just put it in a smaller one instead of the big one because my desk is cluttered. <laughs> so I'm going to start out with this Makeup Shack T66 brush and the shade Moon Shadow, which is such a beautiful, deep, dark black matte. And it is so good. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start to get a more rounded shape. So I'm just going to kind of press it into the crease and extend it down towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to take it up. And I'm going for the more rounded shape. So right now, I'm not really focused on how clean it is. It can be messy because I'm just trying to build up the shape of the halo eye. Once I at least get some of my base on, I'm going to add some more to it. I just didn't want to like doodle and then like get foundation or concealer on the doodles. So I'm going to take this and round it, follow the shape of my eye. And I'm going to start to pat it down, pat it down. About like that, and then I'm gonna make sure that it is in the crease enough and slightly above it. I'm so excited to play with some new Carla Cosmetic goodies because I love a lot of their stuff. Every, well, I say a lot of their stuff. Everything I've tried from them has been amazing. So when they told me that they wanted to send me a package, I about ugly cried happy tears because I love them so much. Now they didn't tell me that I had to do a YouTube video, video or anything. I just wanted to because I was like, this is going to be so much fun. Like I just want to like play around with it and do a video and I don't know. I just love Carla Cosmetics so much. I've misplaced my brush. I feel like this happens every video. I have my brushes and then they get lost. And I also tend to just have cat fur all over my face as well. Ah, chaos today. Chaos, I tell you. So I'm going to go into this blue from the Best Mattes palette. And it's one of, like, it's such a pretty shade of blue. I also intended on using my nail polish from Mooncat Mermaid Bait all over my fingernails to match this look. So I might have to do that in a little bit. Okay, so with the Makeup Shack T14 brush, I'm taking this blue, and what I'm going to do is start from the inner corner of my eye in the crease and just start to blend this black out with it. Back and forth, going chill by the motions with the lightest amount of pressure. And back and forth with it. Really take your time with blending. Because... Blending is repetitive, but it is worth it. And I'm just going to pat this along the edge of the outer V of my eye. And then just pat it right here. Then I'm going to start to just back and forth blend with it. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Shack T63 brush in the shade Drifting, which is this gorgeous blue. And then I'm just going to start to work this up towards my brow. And these mattes blend very nicely. And 
I felt like this blue paired very well with the blue from the Best Mattes palette too. I was like, yeah, that will go so perfectly and just be a smoky blue dream. So with that T14 brush, I'm going to go back into the black shade and bring it back. This is where I really need to emphasize that blending is repetitive, but it's worth it. And I'm going to clean that brush off and take some more of the blue from the Best Mattes palette. Oh my goodness, there's like a rainbow of sparkles in this, and it's so pretty. It's just like reflex. <laughs> I don't know if it's picking up, but... When I angle it this way, look down, I see sparkles. And then just bring it back a little bit. It really doesn't take much to get everything nice and blended with these shades. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that light blue and make sure everything is nice and blended out okay so now i'm going to take some micellar water on a q-tip and start to carve everything well clean out my crease and then carve it out with a drawer of cosmetics clean canvas and fair Okay, now that that's all carved out, I'm going to take the Sleepy Head palette and I'm going to just use the two mattes in the palette to start to... Oh, sorry, my ear just popped. That was weird. But I'm going to start to get the halo shape. I'm going to take the T66 brush from the Makeup Shack and I'm going to take the black shade and start to work that over i kind of want to make it look like a cone shape where it's smaller ish towards the bottom and then gets wider as it goes up and then i'm going to take it and connect it more towards the inner corner Work it over. Then I'm going to clean that brush off real quick and take the blue, bring it across, tap it on the edges, bring it up and over a bit. I'm going to take a little bit more of the black shade to bring it back and touch it up a little bit. Flip the brush and pat what was left of the blue. And same thing over here. And then I'm going to take the Cleona DF04 brush and Sleepy Head. So I'm really excited because it's such a beautiful shade. I love it. I love it. I'm just going to start to put it in the center and along the edges of the mats. I wanted to use every single shade in this quad. So I was being sure to try my best. Pat it along the edges. And widen it at the top bit.
And then I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and just pat it. I cleaned off the DFO4 brush and I'm gonna take Chill. I don't think I have this one as the loose multi-chrome, but I was so excited to try it because it's so pretty. I'm just gonna follow the outline of that base. And this is gonna be the halo bit. And I clean the brush off and I'm gonna take more of Sleepy Head and just run it up a little bit to get it all blended together. And for a few final touches with this Makeup Shack T65 brush, I'm gonna take this blue and just start to tap it along the edges of Sleepy Head to make sure it's all blended together. All right, I'm gonna go do my base and then come back and doodle. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just like go ahead and do like my under eye bit and do my concealer and blush and stuff before my foundation. Kind of do things backwards. So I don't remember how I did this. I'm looking at a picture because I did this looking like it looked like this in like 2021. It may have been 2022. I don't quite remember, but I want to do that and I don't want to mess the gleams up. Actually, I think I might just go ahead and do them. And if I mess them up when I do my base, I'll just touch them up. <laughs> Real quick, though, I'm going to take the shade Nightgown that is the Opal Multichrome Pressed and use this for my, my inner corner. I'm going to take that Cleona DFO4 brush. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm going to pop that onto the inner corner. Work it up towards the crease a little bit. I feel like it's so cute. That's such a pretty shade. And it would even be beautiful with a highlighter, I feel like. So good. So I wasn't sure if I want to take yellow or white for liner to do these. So I think... I think I'm just going to do the yellow from the UV Taffy's palette from Suva and doodle some gleams. I'll go ahead and do this eye now and then I'll do my other one afterwards because I haven't like fixed a focus on this eye. <laughs> Real quick, I would like to say a huge thank you to Carlo Cosmetics for sending these beautiful eyeshadows my way. I'm so excited. Sleepyhead is one of my favorite loose multi-chromes, and to see it pressed and be a part of a quad was just so exciting for me. It was actually one of the first shades that I ordered from them and I was going through my footage and realized that I forgot to say thank you and I felt so bad so I just wanted to say a huge 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 thank you so much to Carla Cosmetics because y'all's products are amazing and I love them so much the the things that you create are just the dreamiest of dreamy the sparkles are so mesmerizing and I always look forward to dipping into some pretty sparkles from y'all so thank you so much Carla Cosmetics <laughs>
Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken Alright, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back Lotion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen The scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go look what do you think I in the original look that I did but it was different colors I did have the big gleam so I was like it looks like it's holding hands with these other little gleams I am obsessed with this quad and I even used uh, the shade bird song the opal moonstone or the opal multi-chrome loose eyeshadow for my brow bone highlighter this is magical. I will say uh, that they also sent over the Velvet Dreams Press Multichrome. And I did a look with it yesterday, but it started storming, so I didn't have very good light. But it's like a little rainbow. It's so pretty. And so, like, I took my brush, and I went on one side of it, and I popped it on the outer corner. And then I went on the other side, and then kind of just went back and forth until I had, like, big rainbow. <laughs> If I can, well, I'll show a video of that look here, but I still feel like my lighting and everything didn't do it justice. <laughs> What do you think of this look? Do you like halo eyes? I used to hate doing them, now I love doing them. And this one was a lot of fun. I just felt like the gleams were just needed because it's kind of rain, like not rainy, but it's like sunny but cloudy today. And it was like sunny for a while. And I'm looking, it's like kind of looks like it's clogged up again, but it is so nice outside. I'm fixing to just like try my best to go sit outside while it's still sunny because it's so nice it almost feels nostalgic in like a weird way okay please let me know what you'd like to see next down in the comments below if you'd like to keep up my awkward face and shenanigans while i'm not here on youtube then i have all my social medias linked in the description box down below and if you like this video could you please give it a thumbs up because i heard that it helps get my video pushed out into the algorithm so if you give it a thumbs up then thank you and if you'd like to keep up with me while i am here on youtube then please hit the subscribe button it means so much to me and i can't thank you enough I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any look ideas that you'd like to see, please let me know. It might take me a minute to get to them because I'm in the middle of pre-filming looks for the next few weeks because life is chaotic. And I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss an upload because I like to try to stay as consistent as possible even when I'm stressed to the max. But yes, if you have any ideas of looks that you would like to see, please let me know. And if I get a chance, I will film it as soon as possible and it will go priority over anything else. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!